everybody, it's Kim. I am making my calendar for my grandma. I don't know if you're a follower or, or you're familiar with the calendars that I make for my grandma, but I do this every month for her. She's in a nursing home and she absolutely loves it. So um, this one's going to be extra special because this is her birthday month. She's turning 100. And um, I just wanted to make it pink and bright and cheery. So here's what I did. I started out with a piece of white um, base. This is color box paper. And I'm using two different stamp sets. I'm using the recollections. These are just um, letters, small case, and uh, numbers. And then I got um, an email from uh, craftysteals.com and they had some stamps on sale. And I bought three of them. There we go. I got this one here for $5.99. This one here for $5.99, and then this one here for $5.99. And on this one, I used the Happy Birthday, Celebration, Make-A-Wish, and It's Your Birthday. You'll see that in a second. Okay, the Celebration stamps here, Make-A-Wish is here. Um, I cut out the Happy Birthday, I think I'll show you again here. This is all one stamp, but I went ahead and fussy cut it around, so I'm just going to loop it just like that. And then um, the little party hats are from the close to my heart artistry uh, cartridge and I did everything on the Cricut Design Space and I flattened it and did the print and cut. So let's get started. So now that I have everything laying like this I'll know you know where to put it because a lot of times I, I lose track and you know I end up putting things in you know for too far to the left or too far to the right just the way my eyeballs work. This is the actual color of the um, image on Cricut Design Space and I just thought it kind of matched with it so I didn't change it. The color of ink that I used for the Happy Birthday is Stampin' Up. Gotta bring that down just a little bit. And it's the Cherry Cobbler. That's for this here. Right now for the next layer, this is recollections paper. Um, I just put my drops on my cupcakes, so I have to be careful not to touch them right now. I'll explain about the cupcakes here in a minute. This paper I did not get at my local. Mar Michaels. I found it actually in the Michaels where my grandma lives. When the last time I went up to visit her, I always have to go in there because their things are just different than ours. It's got, um, it's embossed and it's little circles. I think I'll use my, uh, that's the label if you're interested. I cut about two inches off, so it's 12 wide by 10. 12 by 10. Because it's a, such a big piece, that's why I decided that I wanted to use my runner instead of my glue. I'm just going to match it up here to the corner. And just following along and make sure I've got that on straight. Alright, let's get my spatula and lift up the hats a little bit. I want those to go up and over. layer here and we'll do this one as well. I've used this spatula, spatula for so many things. Great. Okay so before I put the cupcakes on I went ahead and um, got the letters M-A-Y for the month of May off of the recollection stamp set which I showed you at the beginning and I'm gonna go ahead and just stamp it out right at the very top or the edge right there. Nice. Very, very cute. Okay, we'll put that aside. Now, let's put our cupcakes on. I'm going to start here at the bottom and I'm going to work up.
These are really fun to make. And I did the print and cut for these as well. Put these out here. And um, I already forgot the, no, I didn't. It's birthday, birthday cakes. That's the images off of the uh, Cricut Design Space. It's called birthday cakes. And we're gonna move that down. And I thought that it needed just a little bit more than um, this is how it actually looks. So I went ahead and I used my Nouveau Crystal Drops on the cake, the birthday, the, excuse me, the cupcakes that had the little dots on them. And I used the brown. And this is, you know, kind of got a shimmer to it. See what the name of it is Copper Penny. And this is the Carnation Pink. And then I also did a little bit of the Red Berry. And um, if you're not familiar with these, what it does is when you squeeze it out, let it dry, it looks very similar to enamel dot. And I just put the colors right in those holes right there. Okay, so I got... I seem to always get this stuff mixed up. All right, let's go ahead and put this down. right there yeah I just wanted to alternate the pink and the brown I can move this over just a tiny bit the glue hasn't set yet so got a little bit of wiggle room there okay so now I know I've got just a little bit of space that I can play with for these two now, um, I don't know if you've noticed, but I have four of the cupcakes on one strip and then three on the other because there's seven days out of the week. And it, it does, this border does come with uh, four cupcakes in a row. So I just trimmed off the last one. All right, and we're almost done. I went ahead and used the numbers off of that recollection stamp set and I went ahead and stamped the numbers ahead of time. Um, the last few times I did this calendar, I messed up the numbers and the days and everything. It was crazy. I guess I get too involved and not, you know, paying attention or something. I don't know. There's no excuse. Just weird like that. Okay. Now, I also used the pull that stamp set back in. It's your birthday. Her birthday's actually on the 17th. So I stamped it and I fussy cut around it. And I'm going to lay that right across the cupcake that is the 17th. Um, I don't think I'm forgetting anything. I, I was back and forth about using my Wink Estella. I still may do it. And just going through and, you know, here and there and brightening up the cupcakes a little bit, making them a little bit sparkly. And, um, oh, the other color that I used was the Strawberry Slush for the Stampin' Up. Um, this was what this is here for the Stampin' Up, for the uh, numbers. Blah. All right, I think I got everything. Thank you so much for watching. Um, fun and easy. Uh, if you get inspired to make one of these, have a blast with it. Thanks so much.